Welcome. Who are you and what do you do? Yeah, welcome. I'm Philip Pfizer. I'm a partner in uh, London for KKR, the global investment firm, and I'm in charge of the media and digital investment area. Okay. How did you start uh, in investment? Uh, how did you get here? And what companies uh, did you invest in? Welcome. So I'm a little bit of a grandfather in this venture scene because in 1999 I actually founded Venture Park, which was Europe's first pan-European incubator. After two years doing that, I joined KKR and I helped build the European office of KKR. And I'm now there for a number of years responsible for investing in this, uh, in this uh, scene of media and technology companies. Right, so media and technology, that's the area that you're focused on. And you are also focused a little bit on the, on the bigger place, is that right? So basically KKR invests in companies that are great market leaders and we invest along the entire spectrum of very large companies. We have invested in Posibens at one. Um, for seven years um, we were the majority shareholder, we just sold down to a, slow, uh, to a lower stake. But also in smaller companies, so I built BMG, the music rights company, with Bertelsmann. We started when that company was 10 million in revenues, it's now 350. And I invested in Fotoya, the European leader for digital images which is a company that has approximately 100 million of sales. So we really invest in, across the entire spectrum of media and digital companies. Right. And what are you looking for in a startup? What piques your interest to, to get involved? So I think that there are three things that we're really looking for. The number one and most important is a great founder or CEO. The management team is the key driver of an attractive company to us. And the second thing is the business model. We love scalable business models in this area of media and technology we like b2b companies we think there's a lot of um, opportunity in companies that might not be as much in the public eye marketplaces um, and digital content so if you look for instance at Fotoya, that's exactly what that company does um, leading online marketplace for images for small medium-sized businesses right you're very involved here at NOAA also on the stage do you um, have time to take meetings also? Do you take meetings here or is it just uh, helping that the conference is really uh, on stage running well? I think the great thing about a conference like this is that you meet the people that are really the shapers in this industry. So I threw a dinner last night of the top 60 uh, CEOs and trendsetters in the space. That was a great opportunity to connect with, with many friends. I'm, as you say, I'm helping my friend Marco be on stage, but also we have back-to-back -back meetings one-on-one -on -one with various people here. Okay. You've been named a Young Global Leader in 2009. Um, can you uh, tell us a little bit if that has impacted your work and how? One, it's a great network. I've been there now for six years, and you meet um, in this space really very interesting people. The YouTube founders were YGLs when I joined. So we had some really engaging discussions around you know, how the on content space will change through technology. Sheryl Sandberg is a YGL and the list goes on. Yeah? So it's been for me an amazing place regarding media and technology. But also, apart from that, you've got some real community leaders there. Shane Agassi is there with his, you know, with his electro car project. Um, but you also have many non-governmental um, non-profit people there who are amazing leaders in their space so it's a really you know engaging community that goes beyond just the business okay great C coming back to the uh, starter uh, sphere um, a couple of days ago Wunderlist announced um, that they just uh, took in 19 million from Sequoia and um, of course uh, Twitter just went public um, how would you rate the climate for startups right now maybe with a special look on Germany Look, I mean, you're intimating the bubble world. It's on your mind. I went through the first bubble. Um, everybody remembers Webvan and Boo.com, etc. I would really say it's different now. I think it's a very exciting time in Europe. We have a list of very developed companies which are ready to become global leaders. Criteo just went public in, in New York. That's a global leader for ta retargeting technology based out of Paris. I think Fotoya is an amazing company growing double digit, highly profitable. You have Klarna, you have SoundCloud, you have Spotify. So I'm very excited about the fundamental growth we are seeing and about the potential of bringing these companies from Europe to be global leaders. And yes, of course, there is hype in certain areas, but I don't think that um, 
it's as unfounded as it was 15 years ago. Great. Thanks for your answers. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.